Hello and welcome to Farmingdale, New York. It is Matt. It is Richie. We are hanging out with the Jets Lounge guys. Richie, my man, how's it going? Matt, this is sick. We're at the Jets Lounge event in Farmingdale. The main event is what it's called. We got the entire Ruckert family over there. Jemmy Ruckert ready to sign autographs. This is sick. I've never done a live event like this with you, Matt. It's awesome. Actually, our first time meeting in person. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you're watching at home, I don't know if you know this. So both of us are from Long Island. We don't talk about it at all. Like, I don't know how you would possibly know it if we don't talk about it ever. But we live literally probably 10 minutes from each other and this is the first time we've ever met this is awesome we have so many jets fans i wish we can show you what it's looking like right now but we have um a lot of jets fans lining up to meet jeremy rucker this is my second time meeting him because i met him at ralph's he's a good dude yeah absolutely and like i'm sure we're going to talk about this a lot tonight but he is literally living out every one of our dreams growing up on long island playing for your hometown team it doesn't get any better than that literally i mean i grew up wearing a Jets helmet when I'm like six years old and a Jets jersey going out there playing ball with my dad and my friends, visualizing myself catching a touchdown at MetLife Stadium. That's exactly what Jeremy Ruckert's living. That is pretty crazy. And it's cool. We met his father. I shook his hand. I was like, yo, what's good, Mr. Ruckert? So it was really cool to see the entire Ruckert family here and seeing Jeremy Ruckert come out here. He's nice enough to uh, join the Jets lounge. This is sick. And Richie is definitely talking it up with Bill Ruckert. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to make his way over here, but... He's ordering a beer. We might be onto something here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having Bill Ruckert making his way. He's coming on? Oh, baby, let's go. I brought a special guest with me. <laughs> He's back. I told you. There he is. He's going to give us a Jet ETS chant. Talk some Jets. You doing? Yeah. How are you guys? How are Bill? you, man? How does it feel? You're here. Your son is at a Long Island event. It's insane. Everything's insane. Everything's what's going on in this world? Is the world <laughs> spinning backwards? Because I don't know what's going on. This is amazing. How does it feel? Like I was just saying, my dad's right there. We're living the dream. You whole family, you grew up Jets fans, and your son is drafted to the Jets. I mean, does it did it kick in yet? When did it really kick in? I, you know what? It kicked in when he was wearing the Jet helmet. You know, <laughs> look, my son's laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, look at this. We yeah, love but it. It, no, it, when you saw him, oh, look, it never really kicked in, but. That, that night was insane. Just watching yeah. that whole thing, and you're looking at, you know, him going from, I don't know if he's he's going to be drafted to, I don't know if he's going to be drafted to, holy shit, he's a jet. <laughs> and that's what's going on. It's nuts. So, uh, this is it. Obviously, we don't have to worry about this, so you can answer this however you want. But if uh, Jeremy was drafted somewhere else. Were you still going to root for the Jets, too, and his team? Or were you just like, I'm over as a Jet <laughs> okay. fan, so i got to root as for my kid? Have read the stories? Have you seen the other things? I've had Jet stuff my entire life. Yeah. I'm always going to be a Jet fan. Okay. And even, like, you know, you don't want to talk about these things, but, you know, it is a business, and eventually they might be they might be a little mad at the Jets. But Understand. you don't know how it's going to go. But I, you can't take it out of me. He's still going to be green, uh, bleeding green, you know? And it's like, so, no, but again, it was like, I'm like, hey, this is great. My kid's going to be drafted to, oh, my God, my kid's a Jet. I yeah. can't even imagine that experience. So when you look at this roster this season, what's your expectations for the Jets and your overall expectations for them with under well, Robert Sala? a Jet fan, we're going to win the Super Bowl. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, love it. Let's go. Goes. I mean, what do we do? We don't just go, eh, maybe, you know, I don't <laughs> no. know what's going to happen. You know, they're not going to be, you know, we're looking at two win that. We're going to win the Super Bowl until, you know, you see how the you know season goes out. But, you know, <laughs> and you were with Jeremy when you went to sign the contract at One Jets Drive. So what were your thoughts of being in the facility, seeing the, the – did you meet any of the coaching staff, any of the front we office? all of them. They were all great, you know, uh, meeting uh, Rex and meeting, you know, Joe Douglas, Coach Salah, all, all of those guys. It's, you know, it's great. I mean, we were fortunate when he was went to the opening. We were able to go be inside the facility and see when he was playing uh -huh. and stuff like that. But still, it's like, you know, he wasn't wearing green. Yeah. Now he's wearing green. So I, it's, I, I, it's something that I've said it before and Richie said it before. And I'm sure, I mean, this is how you feel. But we're both Long Island kids. We both grew up Jeff fans. I feel like he's living out all of our dreams this is such a surreal experience and i think he's going to be a fan favorite because of that um hey look it's it's kind of like you said it's a dream come true. yeah and if things work out man he's going to be you know cloud nine and hopefully be the you know the little green heart of all the jet fans out there you know but you know, 
He already is. I mean, going into the draft, I was always saying on my YouTube channel, they need a tight end. Jeremy Rucker is there. It makes way too much sense. They better draft him. And when they drafted him, my reaction was jubilant. I was so excited when Jeremy Rucker was announced to be a New York Jet. So do you want to give us your... I know. I saw the video. Did you? You were kind of crazy. You saw that video? (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. Where did you see that video on? Apparently YouTube. Oh yeah, <laughs> my not man. Very computer savvy. But. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was wild. So I'm happy. I'm happy that you saw. Yourself. I was enjoying myself because, like I said, I felt like I was living through him in a way. I'm like, wow, I, this is what I've always wanted to do. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> we're not built for this. <laughs> not built for this. I know, me but too. <laughs> I mean, man, you created a man that's on the New York Jets. Um, I'm just, I'm still at a loss for words that this whole event's happening. So, what's your thoughts of this whole experience of? being around like you're you're on long island here you're seeing everyone here like is this your first autograph event signing that you've been with with your son or yeah this is the first one i've been to i know you know you're learning as you go he's had to reel me in it's not known because i don't know what i'm doing but you know <laughs> and i don't want to say anything out of it again it's all they're all going to joke about me thinking it's all about me but it never is it's always about your kids and it's always about him and so whatever you want is all that matters but it's now this is again there's no other words. It's insane. This is all nuts. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you might be like, I don't know if you realize this, but I think you might be the unofficial mascot of the Jets. Are you okay with with that? Are you buying into it? Look, I'm always, I'm never bumping anybody. I'm more than willing to join in. So I, I, all these other people saying stuff about other guys, you know, my men, you know, nah, they, they're icons, you yeah. know, especially when I went. So, nah, if I can join in and we're all having a good time, that's great. I'm, Look, I'm going to be bleeding green till the day I die. That's what's going to happen. And, you know, look, this is totally icing on a cake. Love and it. There's only one way to end it. J-E-T-S! Jets! 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 Woo! Thank we you, Bill. appreciate you, man. Let's go, Jets. It. Thanks for coming on. That was awesome. Bill Rucker, ladies and gentlemen, coming on, hanging out only. with us, doing a J-E-T-S chant. Um, I... I I mean, Richie, I don't think it gets any better than that. That was absolutely awesome to witness in person, being able to interview Mr. Rucker, Bill Rucker. Shout out to that jet chant was insane. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I, I said, he's I was the, like, ah. I thought he'd give, you know, like maybe like a little JET. He was into it, man. I, it we came need from to get the core. Him. Like, that's it's when it. you know it's a real jet, Jets chant, a Jets fan. It's not just like a J E T S. It's like yeah. a it's like a real. <laughs> they got it. If they if the Jets were smart and the Jets, we know you're watching. For week one, opening day, we need Bill on the screen going absolutely nuts for later. this. We need him. Thank you. That was awesome, Zach. Uh, <laughs> See you later, Dad. We need him on the Jumbotron to do the J-E-T-S chant. Oh, my God. Could Sorry, Fireman Ed. We love you, Fireman Ed, but we might have to uh, add Bill Rucker to, to, like, put him next to Fireman Ed. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, the two of them. And, the, you know, the Jet Man, right? He's yeah, always you can't there. replace those guys. You no. add them to it. No, of course.